Telegram's first update in 2022 is here. Video stickers, improved reactions are just some of the innovations that we got in the new version. So let's take a closer look at everything together right now. Like this video if you've been waiting for the new update too and let's get started. In the new 8.5 version, the Telegram team has significantly improved reactions. Let me remind you that in the previous update we got all super excited when this long-awaited feature was introduced, but there were some annoying nuances. However, Telegram has fixed them all. So, reactions now have more compact animations. If you want to send a larger effect, you have to press on one of the emoji in the reactions menu. By the way, if you hold your finger on the reaction for a few seconds, it will literally start to puff up and your smartphone will slowly and nicely vibrate. Besides, reactions are now synchronized for all participants in a chat. That is, when tapping on a reaction, recipients will see the animations in real time. Moreover, the update brings a new heart button at the bottom right corner of the screen. Click on it and you will see all the new reactions that other users made. And of course, this update also adds 5 new reactions. Now you can react to messages with applause, thoughtfulness and other emotions. By the way, along with these same reactions, Telegram has added the same interactive emoji in the new update. To see how they work, just send a single emoji in a chat and then click on it. The next feature will definitely make it easier to navigate the messenger. Starting with the 8.5 version, you can now return to a specific chat. It works as follows. When jumping through unread channels or moving between chats, press and hold the back button and a pop-up window will appear where you will be prompted to go back to a specific chat, provided you didn't get back to the chat list before. And next we'll talk about video stickers and other, no less important, features. There is something that developers have tried to improve in this update because the users requested it. And if you're new to my channel, it's time to join our advanced community of Telegram users. Only here you will learn the most important things you need to know about the Messenger, secret tricks, life hacks, upcoming new features and much more. So subscribe right now! Telegram 8.5 brought its users a new feature called Video Stickers. While previously creating such stickers required experience and specialized software like Adobe Illustrator, today they added support for stickers converted from regular videos, so that anyone can easily create detailed animated stickers using any video editing program. Here are some important requirements to successfully upload your sticker to Telegram. The video must be up to 3 seconds long. Your video must be 512 pixels on one side and up to 512 pixels on the other side. And the full size is limited to 256 kilobytes. The Messenger team explained in detail how to create such a sticker on their official website and to add it to your Telegram, you will need to use the Stickers bot. I will leave all the links in the description box and moreover I will make a separate video instruction on how to create a video sticker in Telegram. And by the way, there is a video on my channel where I talk about how to create regular, not animated stickers in Messenger. There are literally three steps there, so if you are interested in this topic, check it out right now. On top of everything else, Telegram has improved the translation capabilities directly through the Messenger. Users can now translate when browsing web pages, and iOS users can now translate bios. In addition, iOS added new animation icons in the bottom bar when switching between sections. At the same time, in the new update, they added the option to send silent messages from the sharing menu. While reposting something via the Messenger, press and hold the send button and select the silent message option. The Messenger team said that, besides the obvious feature changes, they've been working hard to improve the call quality and screen sharing in video chats. Some users complain about bad quality calls in Telegram, but as you can see the team hears you and they're trying to do their best to fix all the bugs. 
If I take a new update, I love better reactions and improved navigation between the chats the best. And now it's time for you to share in the comments what you liked the best and what didn't impress you at all. Write all your thoughts in the comments below the video. I'd love to read it. And that's all I have. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and get ahead.